Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn how to make our application interactive. By the term interactive, we mean that the user can interact with our application such that our application responds to user interaction. Now, before making our application interactive, we must be aware of the following terms. Text field. A text field is an object that displays the editable text. Button. A button is a control that executes a function. Image view. A image view is a view to include any image in our application. Button action. A action that takes place when a button is clicked. For example, when you are sending someone a text message, so the area where your text is being shown is known as the text field. The send button that you press when you want to send a message is known as the button and the action of sending a message is known as button action. Now let us see a practical implementation of making our application interactive. To make our application interactive, we will start with a new Xcode project. We will go to file, new and then project. Select iOS from top menu then single view application, click on next and then we will and then we'll name our application as age calculator. Rest everything will be same. Click on next. Select the destination. Click on create. Now in this application we'll be using main road storyboard as well as view controller road swift. Now in this application we will be using main.storyboard as well as viewcontroller.swift. First we will add label text field buttons to our application. So the basic of overview of this application is we will add a label to show the name of this application. Then we will add a text field to take user input. Then we will add a button to process the user input and after that we will add a label to show the result. Basically we will multiply the user input by 8 to show the result. So let us start. Search label in object library. Label. Drag it to your application. Expand it. Make it in center. Rename it to age calculator and from attribute inspector click on centered alignment so now this label is in center of our view after that we'll drag one more label to bottom like here and we'll expand it and we'll make it a empty label we'll make it a empty label now we'll add a text field We'll drag it here. We'll expand it a little bit. We'll make it in center. Then we'll select a button. We'll make it in center. We'll write calculate age. So basically, when our user enters a value in the text field and clicks on calculate age, then inside this label the age should be shown so basically what our user inputs will multiply it by 8 and show as a output so now let us go to our assistant editor so that we can see both the files together now we'll press control then we'll drag from this text field to our view controller.swift file and we will release the control button as well as the cursor From connection, we'll select outlet and we'll name it as user input. We'll click on connect. So this connection has been created to this text field. After that, we'll create a connection from this button to this view controller.swift file. We'll release both. Then we'll select action and we'll name it as calculate the name can be any name you want to give it so basically we give a name that is matching to our function for example we want to calculate something then we are given the name calculate so the name should be 
appropriately matching to something so the name should be matching to the function that you want your button to perform click on connect now we'll need to create one now we will need to create one connection for this result table also as we are going to display result in this this will be outlet only name will be result label so basically when we create outlets it means that we want to perform some ui operation on the object and when we are creating an action that is created for buttons most of the time so when we create an action that means we want this object to perform something click on connect so now all three elements have been connected we don't want to uh, connect age calculator because this will be same throughout our application so no modification is required in this now everything has been done so what we need to do is we need to take user input and then we need to multiply it by 8 and then we need to store in result level so what we'll do is result level dot text so to access the text property of any label we need to write the label name dot text equals to the text is always string so we need to convert our output also as a string string inside this we'll write integer of i'll explain this in a bit of time integer of user input dot text multiplied by 8 so what we have done here is first we have taken the user input dot text as i told you if you want to take out some text from any object we need to write the text uh, the object name and followed by dot text so after that this is a optional type optional means that the user can either enter some value or he can leave it empty also so this is a optional thing the user may or may not enter the value so this is called force unwrapping inside which we are taking out the value from this user input after that we are converting this user input to text into integer because text is a string type because it is a text field so it will take string as input then we are converting this to integer and then we are multiplying it by 8 because integer can only be multiplied by integer we cannot multiply a string with the integer so here we have converted this text to integer and then we have multiplied by 8 and after that we have converted this into a string because result label can store a string only after that in this line we are showing this value on our result table so let us see how we can run this application on our iphone 7 now we will enter a value uh, we will enter 5 calculate age and the result is 40 so 5 multiplied by 8 is 40 now we will try to make it uh, 12 and we will click on calculate age and it should show 96 so our application is working perfectly fine but what happens if we leave it empty and click on calculate age it will give a error unexpectedly found nil while unwrapping a optional value so user has left the input text as empty and now it cannot be unwrapped because the value is null so a optional value can either have some value or it will be nil so it has found nil while unwrapping so it is a error now we'll see how we can resolve this error to resolve the error we'll go back to our application write the code then i'll explain the code if let result equals to int user input dot text
so now we have cleaned this project once now what we have done inside this is this if let keyword works like for example if this value user input dot text can be converted to integer if this cannot be converted then our program will move from this part that is it will skip this part and move to the line after this part so if there is anything after this part we can write like else result label dot text equals to please enter a correct integer so if the user has not entered anything or if he has not entered an integer value then this will give a then this will give please enter a correct integer in our result label to text otherwise if this input can be converted into integer then the result label to text will be user input converted to integer multiplied by 8 and then converted into a string so now we'll try to run our application now we'll enter nothing into this and we'll just click on calculate age and there is a please enter a correct this is not showing properly because the uh, because the label is limited to this much space only if we reduce the text size and if we increase the label width then it will be shown properly so this is how we can remove nil errors from our application that is all we will do with making our application interactive thank you